Real estate development is a lot of things, but it is successfully executed by a real estate developer who can bring the following talents to the table. You're entrepreneurial, right? It's your business, it's your idea, it's your concept, it's what drives you, right? It's that energy of being an entrepreneur that makes such a difference. You are a conductor. You're like the orchestra conductor. You're the infinite team manager of a whole host of talents and skills and professionals in this industry aiming for the one goal, a successful project. Every developer is a visionary. They see the potential. They envision the opportunity. They are driven by that vision to step into the process and to bring everybody along with them. Um, the idea of being a visionary without anybody to follow you is really kind of hollow. But developers have to live with that and they have to be able to get this team to see where they're going and make sure that it all happens. And as a team manager, you're also managing the risks of all of these parties. You're managing the risk of the money that you're borrowing. You're trying to avoid the mistakes. You're trying to plan for the inevitable um, and trying to avoid the unsuccessful. It's managing the risks that go along with that because no matter what you do, every site's unique, every building's unique, every process is unique, and every day is different. And with all of those comes risk. And as the developer, you are the one that has to manage that risk for everybody involved. And the end game of real estate development is creating value. Now, I like to say value is always measured in money. Sometimes that's really not the case. If you think about how real estate developers can influence so much of our world, and as a real estate developer, you can be building a park, remember? You can be building a corporate headquarters. You can be building something just as simple and mundane as a food pantry. I mean, everything in the built environment needs a developer at some point. Value is not always about money, but it is about the process. Value in some format needs to be the outcome of what a real estate developer does, and that is a goal. Hopefully you get paid for it, but sometimes it's just not a money thing. It is value, though. As we started off, real estate development is really four things. It's responsibly creating value. And remember, value is not always money, but it's responsibly creating that value and doing it the right way, doing it for the right reasons, doing it because it should be. Real estate development is about generating returns. And it can be just the return of the money invested. It doesn't have to be more than that, but it is what the capital requires. It's generating that return of capital to that capital through the process. And as a real estate developer, as a visionary, the development process transforms that vision into real life. It takes that drawing and creates that structure and transforms the built environment by its very existence. But it all comes from the vision and it changes everything. The built environment is our entire world. And while we don't always honor it the way we should, and while we aren't always aware of its importance, it's everywhere, it's everything. And the real estate development process through the function of a real estate developer transforms it permanently. Kind of cool, kind of scary, but a lot of fun. I believe that the current generation of young people are very much focused on leaving their impact on the world. And one way that they can influence what happens in their neighborhood, what happens in their city, what happens in their world, is through the interaction with the built environment. 
And you can choose to be an environmentalist. You can choose to be any other discipline in this. But the transformation, the modification, the engagement with the built environment that you have as a real estate developer is unparalleled. It can fix what's wrong. It can add more to what's right. It can change people's lives. It can change the path of businesses, of economies, of countries, of the world. So as a young person thinking about where can I have an impact and I want to be in the real estate industry and I have a comfort with risk, but I also want to know that I can leave an imprint on the world, real estate development's a great way to do it. Just have to be patient. It takes a long time. You need to know a lot to get there. I recommend you learn everything you can about the processes involved and the team you're gonna build when you get that first project together so you can do it as well as possible. So as I mentioned, I think that the current generation that's looking at moving into real estate and would have an interest in the commercial real estate development business has an incredible opportunity to influence how we build our cities going forward. And I look at that from the perspective of what's going on around housing. So market rate housing, the darling of the development community, the darling of the capital markets, all of that stuff that you hear about in every major city, um, it's a good thing, but there is a dark side to it. And it's the impact it's having on having cities be affordable for people other than high income millennials or boomers who are moving back into the cities. I think that we have got to find a way. And I believe that our new incoming generation of real estate professionals can help lead that charge of addressing the issue around having housing that is diverse in environments, that allows for people from any number of income ranges, doing any number of jobs, living together. We are creating urban cores that are almost, almost totally new high-rise, high-end, market-rate apartments. We have tons of cranes in Chicago. There are tons of cranes in most cities around the country. And increasingly, as other countries become comfortable with the idea of rental, housing rental, in other cities. But what we're doing on the other side is not addressing how that may be making those spaces unaffordable for the service workers. I mean, these are cities who also have a ton of people who are working in clerical and assistant roles in these office buildings or servicing this community in the retail centers and the restaurants. Our policemen, our teachers, our firemen, all of them live in a much more moderate income space. They can't afford to live here anymore. The city of Chicago has lost hundreds of thousands of people over the past few years. One of the reasons for that is the lack of affordability. And affordability is not about uh, low-income tax credit housing, public housing, um, you know, government-built seas of high-rises. Chicago's had that and realized that's not the path either. It's about housing that is affordable to people who make median incomes. If you make fifty-five or $60,000 a year for your family, you cannot live in most urban cores. And as we have these cool little satellite neighborhoods that sit around these urban cores where, you know, millennials want to live in a Logan Park, a Logan Square, or they want to live in Lincoln Square, or they want to live in Wrigleyville or whatever, that's also attracting market rate new development for housing. The cost of that keeps it from being affordable for the people who are being displaced. We cannot have a sustainable urban environment in this country or anywhere in the world where it is totally owned, occupied, and controlled by high-income individuals. 
And I think that young people looking at how they can utilize their interest, matching up with their desire to have an impact on the world, with their sensibility around inequities um, and displacement, can look at the opportunity to be in the development space or in many other disciplines in this industry as a way to engage in fixing this. And I am so hopeful that we don't discourage them from seeing how they can take their values and match it up with an industry that is probably known as being just controlled by a whole bunch of wealthy people, but is not. They have their, they have their share, but there are a lot of people in the, in the trenches in this thing. There are people doing a whole bunch of different sort of projects in the world. Real estate covers everything, remember? Partner up with those groups, engage with them, learn from them, and then take your values and make a difference. Lead to affordable housing development, lead to mixed income developments, lead to doing things that make our environments comfortable and sustainable for everybody who wants to partake. And I hope that we see that sort of engagement for that reason. I think it'll make a difference.